Good afternoon, solopreneurs. Why do people buy? That's what we've been talking about all week. And most of the time, that could be attributed to others. That's what we're going to talk about today in episode 565 of your 333. Before we get to that topic, today is National Hot Dog Day. The day that you go out and continue to enjoy hot dogs, which is what most Americans love to do during the summer. In fact, 77 billion hot dogs will be eaten between Memorial Day and Labor Day. In other tech news, a library book was discovered and returned to the New Bedford Library. What makes this book so special? It was discovered by a West Virginia librarian that was 119 years old. Had they actually turned that in in person, which would be hard to do being 119 years ago, it would have been a fine of 2100 but thankfully the New Bedford Library has a maximum cap of $2. This is against Book of World Records for the longest overdue book, which is an incentive for all of us to return those books, even if they were late. Go ahead and return them back to the public library. Now, in answer to the question, we've been studying all week why people buy, and understanding why people buy will help us as salespeople, as business owners, get to the heart of how we can sell our products and services. Business tip number one, people buy from others from something called FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. Sometimes when they see other people do it, it starts a domino effect. If you've ever been to a website, because remember I'm a web designer, and you see, ooh, bought by this person, bought by this person, bought by this person in the last 20 minutes, or if you go to a travel site and you're trying to book travel, you'll say, ooh, this was checked out or this flight was booked 20 minutes ago, that fear factor of missing out causes people to buy. Business tip number two, peer influence. Whether this be friends or family or reviews on your website, other people's Influence influences a buying decision. And why this is important is because you can use this in your collateral information, in your marketing, in your pitch book to show other customer reviews or other people that bought your particular products or services. Business tip number three is influencer endorsement. This is very similar to peer reviews, but it's having famous people or somebody that maybe your potential client would know also bought or endorsements of other things. This is why sports uh, figures become high endorsement of products. You see them in commercials. Again, small business owners, are there some local endorsements or influentials in the particular market that you're in that make a difference? In review, we talked about others being influencing, fear of missing out, peer influence, and influencer endorsements. That's what I'm learning today. Anything I learn, I throw over the fence to you because I want you, solopreneur, to be awesome in your business and in your sales. Now go back to sleep.